Hi. Um, anyway, uh, I, I'm Carolyn Everett and um, McCray, and I'm a counselor. They call me the NY-9-11 Canadian Angel. Um, that's what I use as a pen name for my books and stuff. I also am a life coach and a counselor. Uh, you can find me at NY-9-11 Canadian Angel. Uh, books for sale or 1A McCray's Enterprises or AAA 12 Step and all my blogs on the web. Uh, I want to start a program and if you want to join me and give uh, your statement here at a 12 Step Church for Teens. Um, and I want to work with teens. My dream to you guys, if you are a teen and you're having problems at home, I eventually I'd like to start an earthship community where teens can get out of the city. I'd like to start in Nevada because uh, we could get the casinos to help sponsors. I'm also a minister um, and I belong to Universal Church, which believes that each one of us is on our own journey. So what I'm going to be doing from here on in is I'm going to be reading um, meditation, uh, read uh, meditations that come from Hazelton, who use codependency. They also sponsor books like Codependency No More by Beatty. Uh, if you send me um, uh, an email or you write in the blog that you want some more information, uh, I use Bradshaw Approach. I was trained at Simon Fraser University. Um, I also took a course for drug, alcohol, sex abuse, and family counseling and art therapy. I'm also a hypnotherapist and I also have the ability to be slightly psychic. I'm very much like many of the teens. Um, when I was younger because I'm ADHD <laughs> and dyslexic and so when I was in school I didn't do very well and but I, I performed in the arts and most people that are this way are also there's a high problem you could be indigo 80% uh, of kids that have dyslexia end up in jail or on drugs because they're very confused so consequently my dream is to work with these people and we can go from there um, and I wanted to read the meditation today, and I'm not, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Uh, it says, it takes, I'm going to have to make this bigger because I can't see it from the distance. Hold on, just give me a minute. So I'm going to have to zoom it to 150, and then I can read it from a long distance. So there we go. I'm trying to do this. I, it's my first time, so please forgive me. So let's see if we can zoom it down just a little. I think I just made it too big, guys. Settings. Whoops. Zoom it down to. Oh, no, that's too big. How do I get it down? Oh, I see how to do it. Okay, now that's better. Let me see if I can get it going up. This is my first time, so I'll learn. Okay, here it is. This is a meditation from Hazelton. Today is January the 3rd, 2015. And, whoops, can't see without my glasses. It says, <clears throat> and I want you to make comments, and I'm going to make comments about my life history, and you can make comments. I also am an art therapist. If you send your drawings to me, we can actually start a core group on the web using Google Hangouts. Now, if you um, uh, um, go to uh, set up a Gmail account and through Google Chrome, we can actually have groups. So it says, when I came in, they told me, let me love, let, let me love you. And also, I have problems with reading about love because I am dyslexic. So um, if I stumble, please forgive me. Um, I remember, I'll never forget, um, when I first went into counseling, I wanted a CODA meeting and an ACOA meeting. So find a CODA meeting in your group, in your area. And all you have to do is go to CODA, C-O-D-A dot org. And, and if you want to get some more information on adult children from dysfunctional families, you can do that. And I do uh, blogs with these meditations on the web as well. And it's under um, the title of this one. Um, 12 Step Church for Teens. I also have, if you go into the About, you'll find all my uh, things. Plus, I also have, um, uh, it's called Care's Life Wisdom, where I talk about 
how to train animals and uh, looking for someone uh, that is a mechanic that can come out here and help me get out west so we can start the airships. Um, my dream is to start a whole airship community for you teens so that you can have your own home, never have to pay a bill again, at least keep it simple, and be completely self-sufficient using art, music, and fun, and have a 12-step church that you'll run on your own. Uh, the only thing has to be under an adult, which I am, and then you can also get your minister's license and we can have a healing program. Uh, I'll give you a bit of history about me. I, um, I was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Um, I um, was the eldest of six kids. I t um, and then I went from Jehovah's Witnesses to Mormons because I kept finding patriarchal systems, but I kept choosing people that were like my family system that weren't healthy. And by, the, by the, a miracle, I was chasing credits in my fourth year university, and I took drug, alcohol, sex abuse, and family counseling. And, Thank God the professor at hand said, there's nothing, asked us if we were the first child, which I said I was. The whole room stood up. And then on top of it, he said, um, uh, you're all flaming codependents and you're probably <laughs> sicker than your clients. And if you don't get into program and start working uh, code and AC way, and we had to watch all the Bradshaw tapes and we had to go to meetings. But where I lived, there was no CODA meeting because that was in 1985. And so I started one, and because of my um, dyslexia, I, and here I'm in fourth year university, and I thought I fooled the world, and I, I couldn't read out loud, and I told the group, could someone volunteer, because I'll probably pee myself, and guess what, I did. So from that point on, I started a meeting there, a family meeting, and um, thank God, Dr. Uh, Ray Parkinson was also in 12-step programs, and he made me do my anger management. Then I discovered I was uh, sexually abused as a child and I had never had any memories. It took 10 years of therapy to work through the Jehovah's Witnesses. And then I, I joined the Mormon Church and then I, I, now I'm not into churches at all. Um, I left the Mormon Church in 2001 and I'm not into religion. Each one of us has a piece of God. All you have to listen to is that wee little voice inside you and God is your intuition. And I sometimes I like to say God is jogs backwards because <laughs> they love us unconditionally. Maybe that's why I like pets better than people. Uh, today I'm going to be doing, uh, so what I want to do with these meditations that I read from Hazelton is I want you to see if it helps bring up memories and Angel's getting kind of jealous because she likes attention too. So the thing is, um, Angel is a border collie. You'll find her on my other stuff and she wants to be petted, because I'm talking to you. So it says here, when, when I came in, that means to program like CODA, ACOA, AA, they told me, let me love you until you learn to love yourself. That comes out of the 12-step book by Bill W. It says, it takes a long time to learn to love ourselves. I don't know if you have that problem, but I do. I still have a bit of problem with self-esteem and I tend to talk too fast, um, <laughs> sometimes I buddy, and when I'm feeling nervous. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do it. And so it's a process and now I just trust my higher power, he'll look after me. And it says, so many things, so many things were, were done seemed hard to forgive. We, oh no, so many things we've done are so, seem so hard to forgive. Like, for example, kids that come into the program who've been drug addicts and they stole off their mom and their friends and they lied and they cheated. Each one of us has their own story. Um, I would um, try uh, to, uh, my big problem is I would um, try to overcompensate by being a workaholic and I had all kinds of real estate, I've been a millionaire four times, and basically I was hiding the feeling of feeling insecure. I thought by acquiring a lot of junk, and but I never saw it as my money, I always saw it as God. So I was always helping people and uh, I had a recovery house at one point that failed because um, drug addicts aren't the easiest people to work with. They tend to lie and steal. And that comes with part of the journey. It says, we might be trying to dig out from under of tons of negative garbage. Well, I find for me, I don't know if you have, a lot of negative garbage in your back background.